fellow followers, and welcome to Fancine. And today I have for you why I began collecting VHS uh, movies again. Uh, <laughs> it all sort of started when my brother gave me a VHS copy of Blade Runner The Final Cut and an original VHS copy of The Monster Squad. And, you know, I hadn't had VHSs in such a long time. This was a couple years ago. And I hadn't had them in such a long time. And I just started looking at them. And it, and it just, like, was bringing back so many memories of VHSs and times I had them, what I rented at the video store. And, you know, the nostalgia kicked in. In. And so I kind of got the VHSs I had stored because I had kept some throughout the years and I, I got them out of storage where I had them and you know I wanted to watch some of them again and so I went out to like a thrift store and found a really great VCR that still works, still great condition, cleaned it up and you know, I watched a couple VHSs and it just like it just hit me and it took me back and from then on I sort of started uh, buying bits of VHSs here or there you know they were really cheap and everything and what really kicked in my habit really bad was uh, when I I started doing my YouTube channel, putting myself on camera and talking about movies and things I loved and finding a community of so many people that, uh, you know, are into movies and so many other things and finding that there's a whole huge community out there, people who have began collecting VHS uh, tapes and are longing for Blockbuster and Hollywood video and mom and pop video stores. It just kind of like snowballed from there and I, and in the topping was the In Search of Darkness uh, 80s horror documentaries, just learning about so many 80s horror movies that made Maybe I missed out on or that I remembered. It just really set me off. Just when you thought you had seen it all, something new is waiting. You've read about it. You've heard about it. Prepare to be pulverized, traumatized, and hospitalized by... Part 3. <laughs> it's exactly what you think it is. Does that sound entertaining? I started just buying them and, and it's not so much about buying like every single movie I maybe I've seen as a kid or whatever because uh, honestly I have upgraded most of my collection to Blu-ray or 4K and and I just I kind of like those old rare VHSs or finding an original copy of like something like like the 80s horror or the 80s sci-fi or something that just like you can't find on a disc anywhere and you know those are hard to find and those are probably the most expensive VHSs so I haven't really spent a whole lot of money on those because those tend to be more than actual Blu-ray or 4K of that of said movie that I already own, uh, but it's just becomes so much fun searching through all these and ended up you know I'm not like a huge yard sale guy, but I've stopped at a couple yard sales here and there, and I and one time I bought like seven boxes of VHS tapes, and uh, I I don't know why they were huge boxes, they were filled to the brim with VHS tapes, and I found some good ones. Some of them are right here on the shelf, and uh, you know some of them I get rid of, and the ones I don't like, and I uh, you know I tend to get rid of. Uh, I'll give them to a thrift store or I'll give them to a charity or something so they can, you know, do with them. Cause I've bought, I've bought a lot. Honestly, I bought a lot and uh, it's just something that's very nostalgic about it. Something uh, that just, it just, it touches something inside of me and my my childhood and, and, and you know, nostalgia can only get you so far. It's also enjoyment of maybe every once in a while, just be like prowling, prowling through the VHSs here and like, it just takes you back and you pop one in and you watch it and it's so so much fun and and it's just it's just a blast to do this and you know to be honest I know a lot of people out there do this and, and there's a lot of people out there like me but one of my dreams is to create like a uh, old school um, video rental store you know where I live or you know add on to the house or something and create that with my movies uh, for me you know just like you know have them on the shelves just set up like Blockbuster or mom and pop shop uh, man I would absolutely love to do that I've seen so many people do that and uh, you know that's just like a dream of mine and so if my YouTube channel ever like really really kicks in and I start making some good <laughs> good money off that and I'm not you know I'm not trying I'm not in this game for money or anything like that because I just like doing what I'm doing I like sharing my passion for cult movies 80 movies and 90s movies and all this with you guys and you know if I succeed that's great I mean that's what I mean that's what we get into this for but it's not about that but if I were to actually you know fully fully take off um, that is something I would be would do with uh, with what my success brings me is to make a uh, 
video rental store, you know, for myself for, you know, I would go in there and, and, and just like bathe in its glory. But yeah, that's why I sort of started collecting, uh, VHS tapes again. You know, the cover art is amazing. It's beautiful. There's some VHSs out there that have never made it to DVD or Blu-ray and will probably never make it to streaming. I know I've said it a couple times, but it's true. There are. And, and it's just the fun looking for maybe like finding those rare eighties horror sci-fi action films that, you you know that were so good that you remember renting over and over and hoping that you get it for a good price because like I said some of them can be outrageous like I went to uh, a half price books and they had uh, Return of the Living Dead Part Two for like twenty bucks and a copy of Halloween uh, with the TV stuff added into it for thirty bucks and I I just think that's a little ridiculous I, I don't want to pay that much for it or a hundred dollars for a VHS tape when I can get like you know the new Halloween's coming out on 4K for like. 30 bucks. So why would I pay $30 for the VHS when I can get the 4K? But I, if I could get that copy of uh, Halloween VHS like that for like a way cheaper, I would buy it. You know, so it's the fun of looking and trying to find that deal, trying to find that VHS, trying to bring back that memory and just enjoying a time when things were simpler and when movies, you know, <laughs> were just different. So that's why I started collecting VHS tapes again. So let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comments section down below. Do you guys still collect VHS tapes? Uh, am I crazy? Uh, let me know what you guys think about all this. Really do. I like reading your comments. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you did not like this video, you can go ahead and give it a dislike. No hurt feelings here. Please share this video out for everybody to see. If I earned your subscription, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I would truly appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy everything I got coming your guys' way. Uh, wherever you guys are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. I thank you for watching. Godspeed.